Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and today we have the deck list that I used to reach um, DLV Max with, um, kind of a delayed uh, climb but I tested different version, I wanted to try different stuff, I also wanted to make the videos for you my boys, the ones that you uh, that are now on the channel, the Clock Up Fusion and uh, the Invoked uh, magic key, but to reach DLV Max it was very very easy Let me start saying I started from DLV 18 because with uh, testing all the other stuff I ranked up all the way to DLV 19 to be honest then I came back uh, While testing other stuff and then with this it was just an easy climb pure magic key. I think this deck has the potential to be the um, the surprise of uh, the KC Cup, to be honest, uh, simply insane, but before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So, I'm here with Alexis Rhodes and his master and her master of rights, so this is the decklist I'm currently using. Uh, I tried to cut the most amount of cards possible um, to make it almost close to 20. Um, the only thing I would change if I could would be to play a third preparation of rights. Uh, sorry, a third magic word instead of the terraforming and probably playing. Uh, a Berserker in the extra deck. Um, Berserker could be, it's just nice because it's one of, it's, it would be the second, the only second body that we have to reach 3k or more. Because we only have the, the Void Ogre Dragon, so if your opponent uh, puts up on the field the boy like uh, Neos Kluger, you can have some tough time getting rid of it and while you take the damage. Um, this thing definitely needs to be played because if it just happens if, if it happens that you have preparation of rights you can set one more disruption so easily that it's it's literally a shame not to play it so a couple of math till enough because you're always gonna go um you can actually go a maximum of two synchro summons with uh with this boy that actually can only summon the transfer mine uh, a couple of Sky Bluster are fine, I'm playing the X Raider for BLS and I'm playing the Lost Dragon for Speedroids because I encountered some Speedroids along the run and uh, instead of the water type. That could be something you might want to add if in the KC Cup the uh, fish deck starts to rise, the water deck starts to rise, uh, then a couple of Beatus Buster because it's like playing literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, so that's why you play 2. 2 Menju, I only have 2 but I'm not sure I will play a third because I mean with these 2 copies I'm finding a very good balance. Uh, triple Advanced Ritual Art, the only card you definitely want to see in your starting hand uh, because with this if you don't have, I, 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 I mean, you cannot add the Ritual Art with this, only the Beta's Buster. So actually we're playing like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, 4, 7, 9. We're playing literally 9, actually 10 Beta's Buster. So that's why, that's why Preparation Rite is so good. So Preparation Rite is good alone, even if it's your first turn play. But then if you already had the Advanced Ritual Art, the Preparation of Rites just becomes broken because it gets you back the Advanced Ritual Art that you can use straight away in that turn, that's of course the thing. Um, what else? Maftia just won. Occasionally, it can unbreak your end because if you have the magic word and uh, I don't know what you need for that. A magic word and a couple of normal monsters. Let's say you bricked, right? wrong you use magic you summon your boy your normal boy whatever that is you use magic word grab the beta's buster use the second effect grab the maftia return one of the normal boy in your hand to the deck use maftia to summon the beta's buster uh sending a boy from the group from the deck so that you have beta's buster grab the maftial the normal body you summon is already in the field so first synchro summon and then you go with maftias maftial second synchro summon so that's crazy then 
unlocking I had uh, a conversation with my mods on Discord um, and uh, because it's a former judge of Yu-Gi-Oh and this is the reason why I'm not playing oh, can I say okay I'm not playing the magic key battle I'm not playing it because this thing does not work against guess what crackdown it does not work against against everything it keeps because uh, the keeping works like a cast so you basically don't get anything out of it uh, I don't I actually prefer to have, honestly, the magic key unlocking, to be honest, double. And as you will see in the replays, I actually happen to use magic unlocking a couple of times in a lot of duels, because you're not sure to end the duel so quickly. Um, the potential of the first turn board is unreal, literally unreal. In a, in a situation where you have prep of rights plus advanced ritual art, you could even end up with negation of an effect, uh, pop a monster, negation of spell trap card, and another negation of spell trap card with other drama. So two spell trap negation, one pop of a monster, and a negation of an effect monster of a monster's effect. That's insane, honestly. The consistency is unreal as well. Uh, the only thing that I'm in doubt with is if I want to play the cosmic the cosmic cyclone because on the side going second the cosmic cyclones can just help you uh, go through the back rows and have all your stuff even though most of the times even if they stop your beta's buster you can always go into the other combo but still uh, Menju is more of a sure thing because if you go first or second your opponent has to waste his backward on Menju and even if they sub Menju most of the times it's not enough to prevent you from going into the full combo so I guess I'm gonna experience it along the KC Cup probably I'm gonna play this in the KC Cup as well because this is a fun lovely it's not a luck thing like literally it, it does not uh, um, all the searchers here does convert they converge into the same uh, purpose in the end you just want to have math teal. that's everything it, it is you want to have these plus a monster but in the end you want to grab math teal in your hands so if you already have a teal in your hands, all the other search can lead you to anything you want to um, just bluff to your opponents or just to have to provide additional uh, interruptions or plays for the next turn as well. You can have, have a couple of this to stay safe even during your turn. So I really love this to be honest. For the extra deck, two transform line are needed in my opinion. Vodoga Dragon, if you have the third magic keyword, play it instead of the, the terraforming and put the uh, Berserker instead of the Giant Hand. So Giant Hand here is just a replacement for Berserker. Um, then we have the Fusion that can be very nice sometimes if you need to pop stuff. Um, and uh, what else? Rebellion, Genetic, even though you might play the Malevolent scene as well. Abyss Dueler because sometimes it's what you need to shut down specific decks. And the Nightmare Phoenix, because trust me, um, being able to pop back rows, it's never enough. This can be a very nice turn one play, turn two, uh, turn two play. So you summon the stuff instead of going into this, it can be stopped. You just go, um, you can just go into this. Or even if you have some um, Xyz monsters stuck on the field because you already used their effects, you can just link them into Phoenix and pop another card. Um, uh, guys, that is all for the explanation. I leave you to my rank up tools uh, in this KC Cup. Also, I want to try some different hero versions as well. Gonna see, um, and we're gonna see together today in live streaming. Um, not sure when though. Uh, maybe not, guys. I, I mean, I'm not sure when this is gonna be out, but it will depend. So. Don't bother about what I'm, what I said before, and that's all for the explanation. We can jump right into the replays.
Here we go, my boys. First replay. This was one of the rank up duels. They are not in order, so uh, don't pay attention to that. Uh, here comes one of the best hand we could have because we have the the advanced ritual out plus the prepper of rights. So another one. So uh, manage to grab the um, the biggest one, right? Because the prep of rights can get you only the lower level one because proper rights can add you a level seven or lower so this guy that is hate cannot be had that with the prep that's why you add these with the manju keep in mind that so we start with the gators cluster that can already provide an interruption it's got warning point that's fine preparation of rights and now we have to go with the full combo so it's it waste the back row on a on an additional interruption so we got the Bader's Buster don't mind the Aquamator was playing this but then I changed into the um, wind type attribute so Bader's Buster to grab the magic keyword that we use just because we need the uh, Maftial unfortunately he popped that but that's not that much of an issue we can just go into Void or Great Dragon uh, setting both and attacking uh, with uh, the destroyed that cap that gets that there uh, plus a couple of monsters so these can be I mean we have a negation of a spell trap card and negation of a monster's effect because the warning point effect of course is gone he started with the chimera doll and then he went with the special summon of that gear changer using its effect to uh, become eight so he went into giant grinder then I was forced of course to use my negation this guy played very well uh, I had to negate with Gears Blaster but at this point he has no spell trap cards of course and i have nothing more to go with you can go you can use the effect of chimera to grab the terror baby um summoning a boy from the graveyard gear changer to make both level four guess who's coming gigantus doll so he can take actual control of both of those but luckily for me he can only attack with xyz monster this turn and guess what i'm chilling because i already have the prep of rights so he attacked but at this point he can't do nothing just one with the prep of rights getting the beta's buster and the ritual from the graveyard all the way he has no interruption Bedos Buster to grab the magic keyword uh, that of course is gonna get me the Maftial normal summon just to have another body to um, synchro summon with getting the advanced result that is not needed synchro summon into actually XC summon into Dark Rebellion uh, getting the attack then uh, Maftial to special summon to normal summon itself and grab the uh, normal guy Maftial to go send to the fusion so I can pop everything all at the once and drop him using its effect popping everything and at this point going also drawing a card because of the effect of Andrew Bime going for lethal that's how you do it my boys there you go this was another level up uh, 219 I think uh, 218 and then 219 should be uh, something like that and we have um, um, Ashuna uh, so Tanny deck we can speed things up we know this deck how it work so it's gonna end up with the Berserker also a back row that we have to be careful about and so magic keyword to begin with we got the Gears Gluster because we have the full combo um, with Gears Gluster and here it's very important because now if we go with Bedos Buster and we search it's gonna negate that right it's not, not negate but banish that and I can just negate Berserker but even with that as you can see we actually don't need that we don't need to, uh, to use the effect of Beta's Buster because we already have the Moth till in end so we're actually so much chilling that you can't even imagine so proper right definitely broken in this deck uh, advanced little art into straight away Bader's Buster uh, using the fact to search he didn't negate because he wait he knows that then uh, normal summon a normal guy to go into dark rebellion now we have to use the fact he went for the negate but guess what case cluster says no thank you uh, Maftial, uh, additional normal summon, grabbing back the um, the Axe Raider to go all the way into Transfall Mine, setting another magic key unlocking, so uh, one for next turn and the next one for the other, but it's got nothing in the graveyard, I don't know why that was probably, I don't know what, that's how you do it my boys, there you go. Fifth win in a row here against Jaden Ubella. Um, it's us to go first, and we have. Uh, I did not go for Gators Cluster just because uh, I didn't have proper rights, of course. So if you have only one ritual, of course, you want to go with the Bader's Buster. Then Magic Keyword to grab the Maftiol at this point. Um, first Normal Summon demands you to grab the Advanced Ritual Art for next turn. Synchro Summon into Void Dragon first negation. Then Maftiol to 
special to normal summon in addition to the uh, the classic normal summon going to the second second synchro summon transfer mine to of course search the um negation of spell trap card then advance a little heart plus magic word in order to lose actually to return the monster back to the deck why because you want to have no cards in your hand in order for the effect of void ogre to be live so he started with typhoon uh on the unlocking i decided to activate that in response also because i have um just because i wanted to change his um monster to a specific type that i do have then Cyclone on that, that's fine. He went with Neos to begin with, using the effect of Transformite to pop it. He went with Crow, but that is still too late. The effect is still activated. He went with Eternal Bond, grabbing a Neos, and just a set card. But at this point, he can't do nothing because uh, we can just attack. We have the negation of uh, um, uh, the Void Ogre live, so he really can't do a thing. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Sixth win in a row, another Jade in Yubel. Uh, I actually met more than a couple, and this is kind of a break. Look at that, he's, he's got to go first uh, with uh, the Nias Kluger and a set card. We, this is kind of a, of, a, of a break, right? I started with terraforming, now look at me unbreaking myself. I started with the Magic Keyword, grabbing the, um, uh, the normal guy, so I can use Magic Keyword to get Muftia, return one of the uh, counter trap then a normal summoning the normal guy uh, so that I can use Maftia to send a monster from the deck. And guess what? Maftia to start our usual combo. Beto's Pastor is here to uh, special summon, of course, to grab a Maftia um, uh, using its effect first. Uh, and then at this point, I went for the transfer mine um, because wait a minute i was thinking about why didn't i go for the um, uh the void ogre first that was something i'm missing the normal i don't know why i did i did that uh because i was afraid of this i didn't know what to do so i kept this mm. Still, I'm not getting why I did that, but still, magic unlocking to negate the miracle contact, we're chilling, and plus, um, I attacked with, maybe because there was no room, I don't know, honestly, but still, he attacked my transform mine, that's fine, getting some damage, but now what we needed was uh, the uh, advanced visual art to go with the uh, Gators Cluster, because Gators Cluster is what we need to negate there. Um, he went with Dimensional Prison, but guess what, we have the other magic unlocking that's all just crucial. Uh, attacking that using the effect of Neos Kluger, using Gear Glasses to negate, Neos Fusion Protect, so we popped it with the attack. Neos Wiseman comes out, right? So this can be a problem, and he was careless, because he forgot that I have the negation in this. He attacked my boy, and he used its effect, but guess what, I can just negate. So. He, the only thing I didn't understand is, is why didn't I go for my... I didn't... Okay, I, I wanted to keep this guy on the field because I wanted to use its effect. But then I realized that it was not a convenient thing for me because uh, he would have just... Uh, even if I negated its effect, I wouldn't have been able to pop it. That's why then I stayed there. So Manju, as you can see, to get the Advanced Little Art. Uh, synchro summon into Void Ogre Dragon in order to have the negation live. Dimensional Prison, negate with Void Ogre Dragon. Uh, the other I think is just a bluff at this point. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Here we go, my boys. Last but not least. Uh, um, the rank up tool, I think, to max was just a brick ice that set the stone. So that's why I'm not gonna show you. Uh, but still, terraforming, we have uh, one of the perfect hands to begin with, even though, um, actually no, because we do not do not have the ritual card, right? So because with this, we can't have the ritual. So I had to go with the classic stuff with magic keyword grabbing the Maftia so that I can unbrick myself. There you go, Maftia to get to send the uh, Lost Dragon, then the Beta's Buster to begin everything adding the Maft Tilt using the effect, then Synchro Summon into Void Ogre Dragon, and then Maft Tilt to go into the other Synchro guy, so we have basically an interruption, plus potentially three negations of a Spell Trap card, two to be used straight away, and then the other one for next turn, so we were kinda chilling, I guess. 
He's got Book of Moon, guess what, negate. First, you wanna first use the unlocking so that you can already transform all the monsters into a certain type. So the first negation, let it be always the unlocking. Um, now the, the popping is live. He went with Sofa Court. So Kuchia to add that, then he went with Harmonia, negating that, because that can be a problem with the Void of the Dragon. Because if he sets something with a trap card, next turn we're chilling with, the, with this being already live. Then he went with the skill of Pendulum Summon, but guess what? He Pendulum Summon, and I can just use the effect of Transfer Mine, they are all transformed into Dark, so my Transfer Mine can pop all of them. He added the Trap cards to pop during my turn, but guess what? I have this as interrupt Interruption, I also have the Void Ogre Dragon, I summoned my boy. He just scooped. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Guys, this deck is un really unreal. Uh, it's really unreal. In my opinion, it's gonna be the surprise of this KC Cup. Um, I'm not sure there is uh, there's not some crazy combo to go with. I think there's some crazy combo to go with, um, and literally you can do you should be able to do so much stuff with this. Um, it's just. It's just too good, honestly. Um, the only problem to combine it with another archetype is that, is that, of course, you have to increase the size of the deck, thus reducing the consistency of magic key themselves. That's the only thing. But then, alone, this guy, this thing is nuts. Really nuts. Uh, I saw the potential as soon as I uh, saw it in the, in the box. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, guys. Let me know which, which deck you used to reach TLV Max, if you did. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.